Today, we will explore living in Iloilo City in the Philippines as a foreigner. We will cover the cost of living, the safety, nightlife, things to do, pros and cons, and finally summarizing what it is like living in Iloilo City. First is the cost of living. A one bedroom unit or apartment can range between $300 US dollars to $500 a month. Many units can be found on platforms such as Airbnb. This is often recommended if you're staying short term. However, if you are planning to stay long term, most modern condominiums that have a good level of facilities such as a Vida are around $370, but there are also cheaper and more expensive options available inside and outside of the city. The utility prices are fairly standard in the city. Electricity prices were overly high, however, as of July 2021, the city's electricity price went down by 36%. The internet internet is okay. It's not the strongest, but it's okay. Transportation and entertainment costs are also fairly standard for the city. Thus, for a single adult, the expected cost of living is between 900 to 1050 US dollars a month. Next, we move on to the safety. Ilo Ilo City is a safe city for most foreigners in general. I've been reading through several reports on the city's safety and found that Ilo Ilo City is ranked as one of the leading safe zones for the Philippines. In 2019, an online survey was conducted and Ilo Ilo City ranked as the eighth safest city in Southeast Asia. Nonetheless, every city has had its bad periods and a city will always have an element of risk so it's always advised to be vigilant. Moving on to the nightlife and things to do. Festival Walk and Robinsons are two of the largest and most popular malls in the area. Several historical and natural sites around the city include the art museum and religious points of interest. There are also several bars, but they are currently closed at the moment. Nearby islands are accessible as well as other attractions outside of the city. So now let's take a look at some pros and cons of living in Ilo Ilo City. The first advantage is that the area is going through a build, build, build transformation. You will often see many construction workers and developments are being built in this area. For those who like to purchase pre-selling condominiums, now is a perfect time. Another benefit is that there are quite a lot of hospitals in this area and many of which offer different types of patient care. Moving on to the disadvantages and one disadvantage is that the traffic can be a problem during peak times, but this is to be expected. However, the good news is, is that traffic is not as bad as it is in Manila or Cebu. The last point to mention can be an advantage or disadvantage depending on your lifestyle. And this is that Ilo Ilo City has a more relaxed vibe similar to that of Davao City, making it a perfect destination for retirees. However, if you enjoy the parties or the craziness of Manila, for example, you may find that Iloilo is slightly too quiet and therefore this may be an advantage or disadvantage for you. So the final question is what is it like living in Iloilo City? As mentioned, the area is a great place to live in the Philippines. It is typically quieter than Cebu and Manila, so it does offer a slightly slower paced way of life. The city is also a growing area for foreigners, however it remains a less touristy area than other well-known cities in the Philippines. So it is likely that you will not see a great deal of expats walking around the city. Still, there are communities of expats who are based in this area. The people of Ilo Ilo City in the Philippines are incredibly welcoming and you will have no difficulty getting involved with the local community and building connections around the city. 